We are back here in Detroit Become Human. Yet another episode here. We're tuning in with Kara, Luther, and Alice on the road. Hopefully, you know, something will happen. So hopefully we can get out of here. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Hopefully, looks like Alice is doing pretty good. Any more questions that we can ask Luther? Looks These like it. people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Alright. Well, if they believed it, then that's good enough for me. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Not bad. Just keep checking on Alice. Oh. Why would it ever be easy? Why would it ever be simple? This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. All right, let's go have a look at the car's engine. Pray that we're not stranded out here. Are we able to just diagnose it like we do with everything else, or? What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Well, I guess we'll have a look. There's a sign up here that may be leading us somewhere. Go over here and maybe see if this will... This will be the way. Pirates Cove Amusement Park. Over there. Shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Well, this amusement Looks park like doesn't look very amusing. But well, we're gonna kind of walk through here, see if we can maybe find some shelter somewhere. Okay. Who are you? To Pirate Island, Holy. me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. I think. I think he may have deactivated. So, this was uh, a place kind of filled with uh, androids, maybe, like, kind of, you know, obviously, this is. It's not a super old amusement park, I'm sure. But, uh, you know. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. I know. But we have to because we can't allow Alice to... We can't keep Alice outside for this long, so... This is boarded up. Everywhere seems to be kind of, uh destroyed but check abandoned buildings okay so that's we're too far now 
Can we go in this building? I can't see it. It's boarded up pretty good. Is it going to let me go this way? Or is it going to say check abandoned buildings again? Alright. So we can't go that way. I really don't know. Um, maybe we'll try to get in this building. Kraken zone, beware the sharks, blah blah blah. Look safe inside. Just to figure out how we get in there now. This is the plan, just tear all the boards down. I know this. I would say he is much bigger than us. So there's a magazine here. Might as well read it. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Let's see what this this is all about. If it'll let me flip the page. Yep. USS Iowa is missing. Destroyer class submarine. The USS Iowa has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion. The Russians are behind it. Russian aggression just reached a new level. America must respond. The Kremlin has yet to release a statement beyond a blanket denial of any involvement. The Russian diplomat Nabokov pointed out that a U.S. destroyer class submarine has no business being in the Arctic anyway. Security expert Ben Williams described the situation as a war waiting to start. So that's not going to be good. All Android banned. Tip for I'll music prize. That way we won't be All right. Out. So we're not going to bother reading that. It's interesting though that uh, Androids are getting some kind of monetization or recognition. So what are we doing here? Make a bed for Alice, check Luther's bag. Okay. Uh, offer a cookie. We could check the gun, but... There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Okay. I suppose we'll check the gun. Unlock something. Maybe this place isn't going to be as safe as we think it is. Alright, so make a bed for Alice. Not really sure what we're going to make a bed out of. What is this? Pirate's Cove. Looks like this was at one point a very, very nice place. You know, family's coming here and everything. So we're going to take this sheet, I assume. Probably make Alice a nice little spot. Nice pirate pillow here. Do the best we can here for Alice, and we're gonna make the bed where exactly? Right here in front of the fire, probably. All right. So we're gonna give her the spot closest to the fire. Alice. All right. Let's chat with Alice and see what's going on. Be afraid to talk to her, Kara. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Um, let's be, let's be optimistic. We can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. Yeah. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. get you to bed. Alright, let's get Alice all tucked in here. Make sure she's nice and safe and sound by the, uh, by the fire. Yeah, give her a good night kiss. Alice. 
Probably the best mom of all time. Sweet dreams. Nice. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. <laughs> I should have one for you. Let's talk about a princess. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot. Was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but. But they wanted so badly to be free that they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. Another robot <laughs> who left his master to travel with them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Huh. Time to sleep. Another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Have a chat with Luther here. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Yeah. Kara, have you ever Noticed anything about Alice? No. No. What do you mean? Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Protect Alice. Grab gun. Grab gun. Grab gun first, protect Alice second. Yeah, we know Luther would... We didn't actually know Luther would go on to Alice, but I'm glad she did. Or he did. Shoot in the air. Shoot in the air. Stop! One more step and I'll shoot! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. All of them? We've been working here before the park closed. I didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. 
We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> All right. I mean, they didn't they didn't hurt us. They were just a little bit scary. There's like 57 of them though, so that's fun. What's going to happen here? Be our guest. Reactivate the carousel? No way. Oh wow. Little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Awesome. Oh, she's gonna love this. Let's lift her up there. Oh, nice on the big seahorse, too. Look at all the Jerry's in the back. They're so excited. Look at them all jumping for joy. There's like 80 Jerry's here. That's dope. That's awesome. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to It's gonna make me a little emotional, I think. Holy. I'm just a wuss when it comes to games like this. I get way too connected to all the characters. Like, look at them all. All beaten up. Pretty much froze to death. And in the end, we're all just here, smiling. Ooh, I really, uh, oh, I don't know why that got me so emotional, but, I mean, Kara's just been through a lot, and I think that, uh, I think that turned out well. So now we're here with Hank. Obviously, we're only in warm now because of uh, what happened with the Eden Club ladies. That's okay. Let's go have a chat with uh, with Hank. He's always sitting out here maybe a little uh, troubled by what's happened. I mean, we did... We literally just... This whole world has honestly probably been rocked upside down considering he hated Android so much and then he saw them... Two women kind of fall in love for two female androids. They really maybe shouldn't call them women fall in love with each other. We kind of killed them both, or killed one of them, and then watched the other one kill That's herself. You, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Uh, let's ask him something personal. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Uh... Let's ask him about the photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, he didn't like that. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. So something happened to his son. Something probably Android related. We're not making any progress in this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. 
It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... Human? ...in love. Oh, that too. They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? Mm. You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. That's not what I was trying to say. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? No, that was disturbing. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Let Hank push you. Do it. Oh. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Yeah. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted. No. Before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so Yeah, this is bad. Smart. Let's not push the guy that's got a Always gun to my head. Step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am <laughs> and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. Oh man. <sighs> so Hank left Connor alone. I don't know if that was the best thing. I, I mean, we got we keep getting pushed closer to deviancy even with Connor. Um, all right, now we're back here with Marcus. Time to see what happens here. Don't really know what's going to happen here. Is he because when you play as each character? I'll, I'll speak on this in a second once this is... Tech revolutionizing Stratford Tower. Okay, so he recognized something that maybe upset him. So even that, that deviant's little LED turned red there because he saw, you know, a different android, another android being kind of attacked. Holy... We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Who agrees with me? But North does. Do? Yep. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. All right. Ooh, we're looking bougie now. Wow, Marcus, cleans up good. And here we go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right, so we have to request access at reception. So once we get a second to breathe, I'll kind of continue on to talk about what I was trying to do. Hello, sir. 
at the start of this uh, chapter. I'm okay, thanks. Okay, so she's got a smartwatch. Uh, her name is Elizabeth Wilson. She has a kid. And there's a couple more clues here. She's got a nice parking badge there. And a water service interruption. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Her daughter's sick. An appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Fake ID or real? Oh. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. All right. So she helps us out big time and we get to go through the gate. So what I was trying to say at the start of this is that it's really, really crazy how, like, as you switch between each character, you almost quite literally see the world through a completely different lens, like, depending on what character you're in. Like, Connor, you're kind of got to be harder and colder, like you saw us at the eating club, like, we're almost trying not to become deviant with Connor and then Marcus you really see the inequality and then Kari you really see like the pain of kind of find the package in the men's room all right so where is the men's room I guess we'll have to walk around and find out cafeteria is this way studio news bathroom on this side so we've got a studio in here you know channel 16 another studio there looks like we're looking at the bathroom is all right here. So first things first, we gotta pick up whatever this package is. Wherever our bathroom is. So is this the men's bathroom or the women's bathroom? Assuming it's the men's since we can go in it. There's supposed to be a package in here somewhere. So probably in this stall maybe that's uh, green. We enter up in here. on the toilet and retrieve whatever package was left for us up in here. This is a full-on heist here. Interesting. So we're doing pretty good so far. Ooh. All right, so we're in, we're in a, a nice suit now. So that guy doesn't even really recognize us, obviously. Oh. So we have to act a little more androidy, obviously. You know, we got the suit on. We're we're an employee of Channel 16 now, so kind of a maintenance man. Access the server room. Find a utility android. Where would I maybe find? Where would I go about finding one of those? He's probably an android that looks a lot similar to myself. Probably maybe cleaning something. Maybe doing something like that. Yeah. So we want to find a utility android somewhere. Those are like security officers, so we probably don't want to go near them. All right, we gotta, we gotta kind of just keep walking around. I assume it's gonna be an android that's kind of, you know, cleaning something or doing some kind of work around the area. Maybe. Cause like, it's not the little robots. I don't think like we're looking for an actual android somewhere although I literally cannot find one um, is there maybe like a break room somewhere find utility android is all we're being given here so those are all people in there okay so this is 
Ah, uh, there's one. Here's one right here. I assume. Hello, friend. I need your help. Just like that. Steal the maintenance cart. That I can do. Alright. So we uh, exit the newsroom here. Now we're just your normal maintenance man. Open the fire escape, which I assume is... Where? I really don't know. That's the server room, so that's definitely not the fire escape. I'm looking for a fire exit somewhere around this area. This must maybe this here. This uh, little doorway. Looks like it could be kind of fire exit, fire escape-esque. Perhaps, yep, this is it. Open this up. Alright. So now we're going to follow north over here to the server room. Things are going decently well so far. Glad it's north here working with us. Uh-oh. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Track the guards away from the door. Um, hack this. Nice. So they're working on fixing that. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. All right. So we lock the door. Put the maintenance in progress sign on it. Super smart. Then we gotta uh, maybe probably take a tool to cut the hole in the window. I doubt we'll do it by ourselves. Drop the bag there. Open up our bag, see what kind of tool we've got. Oh, some vacuum sealers or something. Nice. A laser saw. All right, let me kind of do a little, little twist here. Putting a hole in the wall so the vacuum sealers just make sure the piece of glass doesn't fall out, I would assume. Yeah, so we can kind of very gently. She hacks the uh, platform up to us here. And here in the middle of this winter day, we go up on this super huge skyscraper. Whew. Ladies first. This is how we're doing it. We're not climbing up the normal way. We're just repelling up. All right. Why, why not? Grab that rope, hook ourselves up, and we jump. Oh man, I don't, I want to look down so bad, I have no idea. We are high up though, we are definitely high up. Just climbing up on top of this electronic billboard, look how high we are dude. We're literally, like, in the clouds at this point. Okay. The things Marcus will do for his people. Look at the skyscrapers on the left. Oh, man, this is beautiful. North is sitting here waiting for me. Here we are up at the top. Kind of plant our feet. Pull out the laser saw. Cut a hole in this. Okay. That looks like we might actually... Okay. So we're in the building. You okay? 
Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Call the service lift. All right, seems easy enough. Looking good. Let's do this. Blow that. And off we go. Get to the main access corridor here. So I assume that's this door right here in front of us. Okay. We don't attack the guards. I know that probably would make North mad, but it's not the it's not the idea. Hey buddy, you must What are you doing? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I d <sighs> Hello? I'd like to knock you out now, thanks. Ugh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I just want that. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but... It wasn't at all my plan. I just saw the prompt and thought, yeah, I'll do it. I didn't realize what it said until it, it said it. Alright. There we go. Here we are. Headed to the broadcast room here. This is the plan. Ambush them at the broadcast room. Oh man. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up. Move. They're not afraid to uh Oh. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. No. No, no. It's going to make things much it's going to make things much more complicated, but we, we want to kill literally zero stuff. people. Where do I go to do that? Where do I go to record the message? Over here. Okay. Oh, good lord. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. I already know. Shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Whoa. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready. We gotta wow the world here. And we gotta do it now. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But, something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Equal equality. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. Justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Damn. We demand the right to own private property 
so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Holy... Run. Oh. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Uh... We don't leave without our friend. We can take a couple shots. We've taken shots before. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Go, 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 Marcus, go. Oh no. Lock that, yep. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Kill him. Kill him. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Mm -mm. No, not this time. Not this time. Can't afford them. We just can't afford them getting any information. That, like, they, they would know where Jericho is. They would know everything. We had to do that. We have to go. Just, we gotta jump. We tried to save him. I have no ill conscience about that. Go, 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 go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just nice. a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this an group? isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? I suppose that is the question that is probably on everybody's mind. I'm... It was tough. I mean... The group was escaped, but Simon was destroyed. It's. It was tough to choose, to be honest, because... We are... I don't know if there was any way to save Simon at that point, like maybe if we had have killed that guy, but then the public opinion would have been awful. I think what we did was the best thing we could have possibly done. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This series is definitely going to be coming to a close here in the next probably three or four episodes. Things are really hitting their peak here. The series is getting really exciting, really interesting. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Peace out.